Vomitus, blood, and other secretions can make it difficult for an unresponsive or otherwise incapacitated patient to maintain a clear patent airway. In such instances, the EMT's best option is to use a powered suction device to clear the patient's airway. As always, be certain to wear appropriate body substance isolation when suctioning a patient. Rigid tip suction catheters can typically accommodate larger obstructions, such as pieces of food, than flexible tip catheters, which can make their use appealing in many instances. On the other hand, rigid tip catheters are more likely to cause trauma to the patient if used incorrectly. As a general practice, the use of rigid tip suction catheters is discouraged in a moving ambulance. Unlike the flexible tip suction catheter, there is no need to measure a rigid tip suction catheter prior to insertion and suctioning as the EMT must maintain sight of the distal tip of the rigid catheter at all times. Once the rigid tip is attached to the suction unit, the EMT should turn the unit on and ensure proper functioning. Open the patient's mouth using a cross-finger technique, a tongue depressor, or other similar device. Ensure there is no suction at the tip and insert the catheter into the oropharynx as deeply as necessary to suction the airway so long as the distal tip of the rigid catheter remains visible. Apply suction and move the tip across the oropharynx for up to 15 seconds. Remove the rigid suction catheter while maintaining suction. Once completed, check for adequate air exchange. It may be necessary to suction multiple times. If necessary, flush the system with water between suctioning attempts to ensure adequate suction at the tip. Also be aware of large particles, such as pieces of food, that may obstruct the suction catheter. 